I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Monica speaks on her relationship with Kodak Black before going on tour with Nicki Minaj. I won't share too much, but what we're working on is just going to be special for you guys. And I'm going to ensure that it'll be a nostalgic moment when I step out there. Because I got to represent for my girl. She's been representing for me. She never forgot about me. That's what people do. Forget you and move on. Um, but that wasn't her way. You know what I'm saying? So... When I say I appreciate her, I appreciate her. I'm excited. I'm excited to be creating set lists. What's up, Ty Ty? I'm excited to be creating a set lists. And everybody keep talking about is Gunica coming to the Pink Friday tour? I don't know, child. Her and Roman? I don't know. <laughs> but I wanted to say thank you. You guys have been supporting me. Um, I intended to get on here sooner so that I would have more time so we could do more of like an ASMO type of thing like we used to. But um, before I go on stage, I work with my vocal coach, Rob Stevenson. Um, just getting myself prepared, you know. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So we are always working and making sure that I'm completely up to par before I take that Pink Friday 2 stage and um, just making sure that my recovery is completely in place but baby you know as I said in my last post to whom much is given I'm going to make it happen I'm not going to get up there half stepping and wait until you see some of the stuff she's created oh Y'all gonna hate if you ain't in Gag City, baby. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you without telling you, but I'm telling you. You know, Monica. Am, am I excited for the tour? You the tour? Cause it say toy. I don't have no toys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bradley, you'll see me in Oakland. Yes, Oakland is the first stop. March first. A lot of the shows are sold out, but there have been uh, several added. You guys just go and check it out. I would love to know what some of your suggestions are for the set list. Of course, I'm going to do some of my boo favorites. I got to do um, some of Nikki's favorites for sure. But um, what are some of you guys' suggestions for the set list? Charlotte is on there. Yeah, for sure. Brittany Frazier? Mm-hmm. When will we be in NYC? Now, I ain't gonna play like this memory still serving me the way it used to. Let me look. Let me look. Okay. I love you back, Monica Times Beyonce fan page. Y'all are the sweetest. Thank you, Eva. Let me see, I'm about to tell you right now. Which city they asked me? New York. New York, Charlotte. Let me see. Newark, New Jersey on March 28th, New York on March 30th, so it's coming really, really soon. Ah, Nashville is going to be on fire. That's going to be insane. By the way, free Kodak, please, please. You know, a lot of people that come into my life, they are genuinely concerned about always there for me and no matter what the miscommunication is with the public we know what it is behind the scenes that's real life family to me nothing replaces people that treat you and respect you like family and let me just say thank you to every single person that came to tycoon both days in Atlanta. Um, it was insanely packed. People were showing so much love and that meant a lot. I mean, because 
anything Anthony does, I'm in full support of. But to see a whole state and every surrounding city, it was people telling me they was coming from somewhere everywhere. It just, it just was different. I love that. Chicago is coming soon. The dates are up on both of our pages. And okay, let's jump back into what you guys feel like the set list should be. Let's go. Come on. Come on. We know. I feel like Why I Love You So Much is one of my absolute favorites. It's just one of them ones. So that's absolutely. Um, oh, thank you for praying for me. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. I'm saying that. I know you probably don't know. I, you know. My age is showing right now because I'm looking at the question and saying, yeah, as if you know I'm answering your question. Oh, these are some dope selections. Mo, we need you here in Fort Lauderdale. Hmm. Oh, Syracuse, New York. Rhea say, why I love you so much is definitely one of abs I, I absolutely agree. Do my recent songs first, then do past songs last. Or do we just want to go all hits? I like the idea of all hits, fun energy, um, having a good time. Just, that's my man. <laughs> I love this song. Should have known better is one of those ones for sure. Love, hell no. But see, the difficult part is we have to narrow it down because we can't stay in the arena all night. Y'all know I got almost 27, 28 years worth of songs. So we got to, something going to have to get cut. Something got to get cut somewhere. Ain't nobody by naughty by nature. Oh, yeah. You ain't got to go home tonight. You can stay right here with me. That was one of my favorite songs. When I hear his voice, I kind of get a little emotional sometimes. Such a person just extreme person having dmx on a record it was just important to me then and just as monumental and historical for me then as it is today in 2024 literally anchor i don't know i think we're gonna have to i think we're gonna have to keep the majority of hits in there that's what i'm thinking angel of mine I love for a lot of deal. Hold on now. Let me let me tell y'all something that nobody ever says, but we always take the heat. We don't choose tour routings. I don't just wake up and say, you know what? I'm gonna go to Texas today. And I like Texas better than I like this other state. That ain't how it works. So um, the promoters, they, they put it all together. We get a great tour routing and, you know, we, we try to make sure that we can hit every place. And if we can't hit every place, if y'all drive a little bit to us, we'll make it worth your while. And here's another thing. Time on stage. Let's address that. When I'm booked, I am booked contractually with the time implemented in it. I don't, I would never, never, never. It, it's just like my children. I don't have a favorite. It don't even exist. I love everybody the same. So I wouldn't come to one city, do 45 minutes, go to the next city, do an hour and a half, and then the next city, 30 minutes. I do contractually what they pay me for, but I always see issue with how long I'm on or who I go after, that's also not on me. Okay. So, Baltimore, I'll be in Baltimore Sunday. So, pull up this Sunday, right here. Um, I love H Town. I love everywhere. But I want y'all, I want y'all to know how some of it works because it it is my job to do certain things, but it is a few things that I, you know, be catching the one two for that don't have nothing to do with me. It really doesn't. But 
I mean, I know that people wouldn't know. It's almost like um, when you go somewhere and you experience something, if I'm standing there, then you would assume I'm who's responsible. But for the, the, the amount of time I'm on stage is decided long before I ever come. And it's decided by um, the promoter and what they're able to pay or what they would like to pay. That's the way it goes. So I know that may sound a little, take him who back. Take who back, Gio? Oh yeah, Jazz, Jazz got me. Jazz Dior, they say they think you used to me moving cause you ain't flinched. I be moving a lot. That's only if I'm talking, that's only if I'm talking. Yes, we're co I'm coming to Detroit. Mm-hmm. Auntie tell her I risk it all. For Jazz, I be telling her she's so pretty and look at her skin. She's so cute. She's so cute and running from the camera. But let me inspect you first. That last one, I ain't like it. Look, she's my. Yeah, all meet me first. I'm telling you, I know. I know. Typically, when I meet someone, I, let me tell y'all this, and this is probably like TMI. But there are some people I meet them, and I feel almost like snakes are crawling all over me. All over me, right? Every time I get that feeling, I find out later, sometimes sooner than later, sometimes later than sooner, but the person ain't right. I, and I have literally met, met somebody and shake their hand and, and just feel almost slithering all over me. I know to get on about it up. But um, I came to VA and didn't sing Why I Love You So Much. I was devastated. Well, come back. On the Pink Tour, it's going to go all the way digital. Okay, I promise. Time to move on, Anchor. Yeah, Baltimore got dates. Sure, poise underscore in underscore Ivy one. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Okay, now y'all not giving me the set list. Y'all giving me y'all giving me personal favorites. But if you're sitting in an arena filled with people. And you just had the time of your life listening to all of Nikki's greats. And then you see me, or maybe you see me before, maybe you see me after. You never know where you might see me. But however, however it goes, what would you want to hear? I just want you to know that I love you so and though things are different now. Until we're giving you options. No, you're not giving me options. You got to be realistic. You got to go into the real, the songs people really want to hear. Spiritual word. I love you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, no. We're going to make sure you um, are there for Pink Tour. We're going to make sure. I got to run it by. Got to run it by. But Nikki love who love us, so. I don't think that's going to be a problem. My heart just checked in. All my sons checked in. King, I love you. And Cure. You should have known better, yeah. Okay. I see a lot of why I love you so much. What, breaks, breaks my heart? Is that what you're saying? It's moving so fast. Street Symphony is one of my absolute favorites because Street Symphony was a real true story. And I loved when we could just make music minus the judgment and it just be received for what it truly is, you know? Because I was really telling a story about wanting to save someone from the only life they knew. And it was of course, we can't save other people, but you, you don't know that when you're younger. You can't save people from themselves, their upbringing, or anything else. That's something they have to do on their own. But I really, I didn't know that. And when Dallas and I created Street Symphony, that was really um, a time in my life where I was, I believed. And that's what, that's what 
I thought I could do. Mm. So gone. Okay, we we're not we're not doing nothing without singing so gone. So gone has really transcended through the test of times. It really has. It it is and that's why I can appreciate spaces like TikTok or where, you know, just all the different spaces and platforms where people that weren't even born at the time these songs came out were there. And you know one of my favorite songs? Nay Nay 911 just said it. Knock Knock. Did y'all know that that's Missy in the front that sounds like the guy? She put something on her voice and she was in there screaming, Yo Mo, open the door. That's Missy. <laughs> Everything Missy is doing incredibly well She hung out at Tycoon with me I was so happy to see her And of course we stayed and watched Chris um, Perform And you know People try to say I'm biased At the end of the day I've been saying forever And ever and ever And will keep saying Chris is one of the greatest talents of our time there's, whenever you see a person and you know there's no two of them, there's no two of anyone. But the fact that he can do what he does so effortlessly and still spread love and to know him is to love him honestly. The way he loves the people that he's closest to. And when you see him with his kids, it just, it just hit different. I love him. I love the way he performs and I love the fact that his fans have stayed with him and just been there for him as he continues to get him great music and great albums. And he performs his ass off. I need to get back in the gym so I can bust a few steps for y'all. Cause mama done got chonky. Just a little bit. <laughs> I gotta stop making whole cakes. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.